Hello, everybody, and Hello. welcome to your Tuesday <laughs> Agent Mastermind class. I am here with my good friend, Scotty Hudspeth, who is a traveling man today, hanging out with us, coming to you live from what airport are you in, Scotty? I'm in Detroit right now at the Detroit National Airport, so I'm actually sitting in movie Tuesday. Uh, we got a great class, though. Uh, Paul has spent a ton of time on this, and he's, uh, he's worked with a bunch of people on this to get exposure once you do your videos. A couple weeks ago, we did a, we did a class where... Uh, we showed you the mindset behind video marketing. Last week, we showed you how to do it. We actually went into Adobe Premiere Elements. So if you missed any of that, just get with your loan professional that sent you to the class or sent you the invites, and they'll get you the last two recordings. Today, one of my favorite parts, once the video is done, how do we let people know about it? So that's what Paul's going to share with us today. He'll be by far the man, the myth, the legend when it comes to this SEO stuff. It's called SEO for a reason search engine optimization, so people find you when they're looking to buy a home, sell a home, whatever it may be, maybe just looking for you to do business with you again, which is 87% of the people said they would use you again, only 7% actually did. So Paul, I appreciate you spending time on this, and I know you've, you've uh, researched the penguin and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> Today, I think we're going to focus on YouTube, correct? It, we are, and, and guys, just to let you know, I've made it a personal study. It's, it's one of the things that, you know... I, I I don't consider myself a computer guy, but but I absolutely have made it a personal study to learn a little bit about search engine optimization because I truly believe that there is a way to tap into organically tap into when people Google likes to use the term ZMOT, which stands for zero moment of truth. And, and what that's relating to is when people are at that moment when they're making that decision to to look for a home for sale or to decide that they want to talk to some people about putting their home up for sale. And so that's what we're going to talk about today is another way to tap into that zero moment of truth and have your stuff found. Video marketing brings a lot of things to the table and a lot of what we've talked about over the last couple of days regarding video marketing have been about self-branding, about getting your recognition, getting that sense of celebrity status allowing yourself to stand out amongst the crowd of, of other you know real estate agents in your area that's one way to utilize video what we're going to talk about today is tapping into the search engine optimization opportunities that that same video that branded you as the go-to person that allowed you to touch base again with somebody on your contact database that you haven't touched base with in months or even years for some of us and allow to brand yourself in a different light to stand out we're gonna take that same video and we're gonna now get it make it so other people people that you don't even have on your target are gonna be able to find that and so that's what we're gonna talk about today let me go ahead and full screen this hey, hey. Paul, hey Paul, really quick, um, you know, you mentioned something I think is very important. I recommend that everybody go read the ZMOT, the Z M O T, Zero Moment of Truth, and Google put it out a long time ago, and it just it really makes a lot of sense when it comes to video marketing. And if you go to Google, put in Z M O T, it's the first thing that comes up. So I'd highly recommend reading that article. Absolutely, and most of you, um, if if you're active with the National Association of Realtors, they actually have a copy of it on their website as well. So you can also tap into that resource. There's also a research study that was done. In National Association, in conjunction with Google, did a research study that talked about all the different aspects of your online marketing as it relates to the real estate industry highly recommended reading um, we actually did a class where we went through that and talked about some of the different things and what it meant to you so your loan officer may be able to explain some of those things to you as well um, questions on how to find it just simply contact the loan professional who found you so today's presentation I did my video now what do I do with it so that that's a big question what do I do with my video so to recap the last two weeks first we talked about recording a short video intro and closing we talked about editing in a viral video and I like funny there's all types of viral videos and and again contact the loan professional who invited you today if you missed any of those two classes that talked about uh, the the video sandwich and they'll be able to get you access to that you've got a video so now, now what? 
obviously you want to share it with your world. Well, that's kind of a no-brainer. Alfred Einstein <laughs> saying, duh, kind of let you, let you know the gist of that one. That, that's kind of a no-brainer. We definitely want to share it, but where is the best place to share it? Well, in, in our opinion, when you're looking for organic views, when you're trying to tap into people who don't know who you are, or you're, they're not on your list from your email to send, you're going to use YouTube. YouTube, guys, for those that haven't, that don't know, YouTube, and this, this research is, is probably two years old now, so these numbers are probably even greater. Two billion views per day on YouTube. The average person spends 15 minutes a day, and there are over 24 hours of video uploaded to YouTube every minute. Statistically, and, and I looked at this just before today to find out if this is this is true or not, just to make sure I'm you know my research is still consistent. And yes, YouTube is the second most searched website in the U.S. Google is number one. YouTube is number two. Facebook is number three now. Scotty, I didn't. I don't know if you know this or not, but Pinterest has now risen to the number four searched site. It's no now question. risen up. That's insane. On a little That's side crazy. note, guys, in America, Craigslist is still sitting firmly at number nine. Hey, that's a little side note. Wow. That's not anything to do with today's class, but Craigslist is still firmly sitting in in number nine spot. That's just a little side note there for you. So the reason we're using YouTube is because people are searching. People are utilizing the site. It's owned by Google. Guys, a, a Google search will produce YouTube results in addition to the YouTube results that you can get. During the summer, my son spent an average of three hours a day, our good friend Jeffrey Carter says, on YouTube. Three hours a day on YouTube. By the way, happy birthday, Mr. Carter. Happy birthday. Appreciate you being here on your birthday, my friend. All right, so what are we going to cover today? We are going to cover the five components that each and every YouTube video absolutely must have to get the maximum amount of traffic. If you want to tap into the search engine optimization that YouTube offers, the fact that it's owned by Google, the fact that it's the number two search site in the country, you absolutely have to include these five elements. The first element is a good title. The second is a good description. The third element are proper tags, and we'll get in specifically what each one of these items are. You have to geotag your videos to tap into this resource, and you also need to do a transcript for your video, and I'm going to show you guys a super easy way to get that done. You're going to love the transcript stuff. All right, so the first thing before you begin before you can even begin to do those five things, well, obviously you need to get your video uploaded to YouTube. So to do that, you're going to log into your YouTube account. You're going to select the Upload button. You're going to click the button that says Select Files to Upload, and you're going to choose your video that you want to upload. Now what's cool is you can save yourself a little bit of time. We all know that our time is valuable. What YouTube allows you to do is as your video is being processed in the Upload section, you can work on the five components that we're going to cover today while that video is being processed. So you're not having to sit around and wait around for it. We don't want you to create extra work for yourselves, have to add new things to your time block to be able to accomplish these things. Doing something like this should be something that, that doesn't take a whole lot of time but gets you maximum results for it. So this is just a graphic. You're logged into your account. You're going to click the Upload button. It takes you to a screen right smack dab in the middle of the screen. It says Select Files to Upload. When you click on it, it will bring you into your files, and you simply select the file name that you want to upload. It's as simple as that. So step one, once you've got your... Once you've got your video uploaded, the very first thing you need to do is you need to come up with a good title for it. Now your title should always, and I do mean always, include your keywords or your key phrase if you're using a long tail keyword. The closer to the beginning of the title that your keywords are, the better off you're going to be. 
Now, if you guys are, we've, we did a class, Scotty, I can't remember when we did the class. I want to say it was March or April on organic farming. We talked about search engine optimization. We went into depth on how to find keywords to tap into the search yeah. terms you're looking for. Um, right. Contact your loan professional. I can't remember when that class was, Scotty. Um, I, can't, I, can, I can look it up, though, and uh, get it to whoever needs it, so don't worry about okay. that. Okay. I, mean, I guess. I guess the big thing, uh, where, where I like to go with these titles that Paul's talking about is think of it as sending an email, kind of, mm -hmm. it, to, to the point where, in, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm jumping ahead here, Paul, but think of it as like when you send an email and you put in the subject line, enough to intrigue them to open the email and enough in the first line of the sub, in the actual script of the email, so they want to read, like I literally open it, because you got to remember a lot of people can open uh, emails or open videos on their phone and read a, a very short part of it, and it's specifically the title, and you want to make it intriguing enough but captive enough to get them to open it and watch the video to get to hear you, see you, kind of feel your passion. Type thing. Oh, and the big deal also is remember this, in a search, when somebody does a search and, and your keywords or your terms are part of your title and, and yours is a relevant result, you're on that result page. The search engine result page is what they call it, the SERP. And when you are on that SERP, that search engine result page, your title is visible in the result. So having a good title that not only people are going to use as a search term, but also exactly what Scott says, gives enough to wet their whistle, but not so much that they, they get the entire gist, just enough to get them interested to go forward, to take action and click your link. That's what your title is about. You're tapping into specific search terms in hopes that somebody is on the computer typing in what your search terms that you've chosen are. Nope, you're not going to get every single search to happen. You're not going to open up to, to broad terms. So using long tail keywords words is very important. And again, we did a full class on, on organic farming and, and how to tap into the right keywords and how to select your keywords is, is really a big deal. So make sure you contact the loan professional who invited you, and they can, get, uh, they can get you to that. Now, as a little ninja secret, you see my little ninja guy here, in your title, if you add the straight up and down line is called the pipe symbol. On your keyboard, it shares the same, the same key just above the enter key with the forward slash. Not the backslash, but it shares the same key with the forward slash. You put the pipe symbol, and then you put your first and last name and your phone number. A moment ago, I mentioned that in the search engine page results, the SERP, your title will be visible in that search engine page result. If you have the pipe symbol, your name and phone number, now your search result not only gives them a good idea of what you've got, it matches their search term, but it also tells them who's this content from and a good way to get in touch with you. I have had more than one person tell me when doing this in their videos, when somebody picked, when somebody found it, they picked up the phone and called before watching the video because they said it was the only search engine result that produced a phone number and that was the first number they called. That's a huge thing to have happen. So that's a really great ninja trick. Again, the pipe symbol, it shares the key with the forward slash key just above the enter key on your keyboard. Now here, here's, the, here's the serious question. Now we're going to show you, Paul's showing you how to get exposure today. How to, make, how to possibly make your phone ring again, how to get it to ring, period. If it rings, are you going to answer it? Is it going to go to voicemail? So just something to think about. And here's the, here's the reason I asked that question. The person that answers their phone or the fastest to call back is 80 to 90% better chance to get that deal than the person who, who calls back second or third. I just want to throw that out there. And, and I can see there are a couple of questions regarding the pipe symbol. The pipe symbol is not a capital I. It is actually a symbol. On your keyboard, on the right-hand side of the letter keys, underneath the space bar, underneath the backspace key, excuse me, underneath the backspace key, directly above the enter key, there is a key that is a forward slash, and then just above it is a pipe. You must hold down the shift key to get the pipe. So it, it, it is not a capital I. 
it's the shift key and then the pipe symbol which shares the key with the forward slash. Yes, we are recording this for later viewing, um, and we'll talk to you guys about how you will get back to the recording at, a, at, at the end of this. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step here. Um, and this is what it looks like when you're in there. As you can see at the top of the image, my video was processing, and I'm already in the process of going through the five components, typing in my title. My title for this particular post is, Real Estate Agent Makes You Laugh. So my key words for this particular post are real estate agent. I'm hoping to tap in when somebody goes to their computer and does a search for real estate agent. I'm hoping to get my video found in that search or to show up in the search engine results page, the SERP. I'm also tapping into the word laugh, which is a highly competitive, highly searched term. It's by itself. When somebody goes to YouTube, they will just type in the word laugh. There's a high probability, depending on other searches and how frequently my video gets found, that I can also tap into that secondary keyword there. So really cool thing to do. So the second part, part two of getting your, search, your video search engine optimized is to write a good description. And I do mean write a good description. This is one of the places you don't want to take, sec take shortcuts on because the entire description section is 100% SEOable. Each word that you write in there is search engine optimized. Therefore, the first sentence absolutely must, I say should, but it absolutely must include the key words. And then the description should tell the story of what is in your video with your key words sprinkled throughout. Here's another little ninja secret tip that you can do in this section. If you start your description before you start writing the, you know, your, your first sentence, type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then your website address. By putting the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash first, it makes that a clickable link right there from the description in your video content. It's another way to drive traffic directly to your websites, guys. Um, especially, this is especially important if your video is, let's say it's a, a video tour of a home that you're listing and you've got a single property website that goes with that. That is a great way to get more exposure to the single property website. If it's a testimonial from a consumer, you want to put the website link directly to where all of your testimonials live, a direct link to that page. And you can do that by putting in the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash at the beginning of your description. So here's my description, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.agentmastermind.com. Real estate agent Paul Baxter introduces one of the funniest videos on the internet as a real estate agent. So there's the second time already, just in two sentences, that I've got my keywords in. It is important to take time to laugh. This dog is so anxious for a treat and his master teasing him. will certainly accomplish that laugh. If you are in need of a good laugh, check out this offering from, and below this I've got from Paul Baxter, real estate agent. That's the end of it. Notice also, just to kind of reiterate what we were talking about a moment ago, in my title, I've got my pipe, I've got my first and last name, and you can't see it behind the bubble here, but I've got my phone number in there as well. You'll be able to see it. Oh, there you go. You can see it at the top here. It's showing the actual title at the top. That's what it will look like when you put the pipe in in front of or behind your, uh, your title. So once you've got your description in, your next step is going to be to add proper tags. Now, what tags are are the same thing as keywords. They're what are used to identify your video with the categories you want it related to. It's the search terms you would like to know that your video, you're, you're telling the back office or the meta description, you're saying this video was related to and you put any and every description that you want in there. Use any and all combinations of your keywords because you never know how someone is going to search. When I do search engine optimization, I have gotten in the habit these days, I, I don't ever use anything but long tail keywords. 
real estate agent. That's a long tail. That's three words equating to my one keyword that I'm using. So that's important to make sure that you're using the proper tags. As you can see, you can use as many as you need or as many as you want to add in here. What I used because of my keywords, real estate agent, real estate broker, realtor, homes for sale, house for sale, real estate for sale, agent. Those are my main keywords. So those are the ones that I've included in my spot there. The next step in getting your video optimized for search engine optimization is to geotag it. Geotagging is a way that you're identifying where locally your video lives. Google has been localizing its search results for two or three years now. They started going in the direction of, of localizing the search results. It produces a better result for the viewer or the end user. Well, for those that don't know, YouTube is owned by Google. I'll probably say that two more times throughout this presentation. They incorporate that same algorithm into the YouTube search engine so it is important it, it, it gives you additional SEO juice by putting a local tag on your video Google loves to sell Google stuff so if we're geotagging it on Google Maps and then it's geotagged from a Google map to your Google YouTube video Google is more likely than not going to show your video it's, it's absolutely loving what you're doing But James is asking a great question. What about tags not in the description but may have relevance? Absolutely. Notice in my tags, I don't have anything about houses for sale or real estate for sale or homes for sale, but I absolutely, because I'm a real estate agent, I would absolutely love for those tags to pull up my video content. Absolutely. Again, use any and all of the keyword terms, phrases, words that you want to tap into, any and all. Okay? And that was related to the last. So once you geotagging, in order to do it, what you're going to do is you're going to select the advanced settings. So under basic settings is where your title, your description, your tags are. At the top you'll simply select advanced settings. That will take you into the advanced settings section and you will have video location will be shown and you'll have an empty box here. There will be no map below it until you put something in. All you have to do is type in the physical address of where you want this video tagged. For a listing, like I said, if you're doing a video tour of a particular listing, absolutely use the address of that listing. Geotag it for that home. If it's an educational video, if it's a promotional video, something like our video sandwich where we're just getting people to laugh and just branding ourselves. If it's a testimonial type of video, you're doing a video testimonial with one of your happy customers, use your office address for that. Have it branded back to your office address. Either way, once you put the address in, you simply click search and what that'll do is it'll produce a result for you. As you can see, I put in 802 Michigan Ave, 34684 and it brought up the exact location of where we're located right here. YouTube will auto save 99.999% of the time. Just make sure underneath the map that you do have the word saved. If it's highlighted in blue, it will take the D off. It will, it, you know, it will give you the option to save if it hasn't auto saved yet. Again, it's very unlikely that you'll have to click the Save button. Just double check that you have saved your location before you move on to the next step. Step five. This is step five for a reason because this is the step that I don't want to sound, make it sound scary to anybody because it really isn't scary. It's actually quite easy. But this is the step that takes the most amount of technical clicks as well as the most amount of time. So do this last. It doesn't take a whole lot of time, but you do have to spend a couple of minutes with it, a little bit of time with it, to make it work. 
the Google spiders will pick up on keywords not only in your description but as well as your transcriptions or your closed captioning for your video. Every video that's uploaded, YouTube automatically creates a transcription or a closed caption. If you've ever watched a YouTube video and looked underneath where the, the video line is playing, you will always see a button that says CC. If you click on it, it will bring up a closed captioning for you. YouTube does that for every video, complete with timestamps. YouTube allows you to edit that transcript. Not specifically for SEO, but boy, what a great idea to take the ability to edit a transcript and turn it into an SEO-friendly option about your video. Now again, there is a little technical aspect of this, so this part gets a little bit longer than the rest of it, but we're going to walk through it, and the steps that I am showing you, if you follow these steps step by step, and the PowerPoint will be made available to everyone, just contact the loan professional who invited you today, they'll get you access to it. If you follow these steps, you'll have no issue with your transcription. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to select your video manager. Once you click on the video manager, you're going to click on the thumbnail image of the video you want to do the transcription or edit the transcription for. Once you do that, underneath the video, underneath where your title is, you'll see the about is already highlighted. There is a share, add, and then just kind of grayed out. It looks like a little file thing. That's the transcript icon. So in order to get your options, you simply click the transcript icon. Once you click the transcript icon, it will pop open the options for closed captioning plus. If you notice, it's got a little plus symbol down here. That's different than just watching the closed captioning. This closed captioning plus is this icon is what allows us to go in and, and now we can actually edit the automatic captions in English that were created. So all you do is you click on the little bar here to get to the captions. That brings you into the caption. It's got the timestamp. It shows you. Now I'm going to tell you it's never truly accurate because this one says some really funky stuff. Let me get into let me see if I can show you. I want to, oh, that's a Jing image. I can't show you what it says behind here. Um, I'll, I'll go live in a little bit, and I'll show you exactly what that says behind there. But, but it doesn't convert it exactly the way it's supposed to be. It's a little bit off. But if you click this little Actions button and drop it down, you can actually download a copy of this. Now, this is a plain text. It's just plain text. You can't have any fonts. You can't have size differences and things like that. You'll likely to be prompted to either save or open it, and you may need to select the program you want to open the file with. This is the part that gets a little bit tricky. When you click that download, and, and I always use the, SRT, the .srt file, when I click that, it every time it pops open this box and asks me do I want to open it with or save file. I click open with and then I click browse. Now because it is a plain text editor I always always choose notepad. If you have one that you're more comfortable with, some of you on the call are familiar with plain text editors, open it with whichever one you are most comfortable with. I choose to use Notepad on my PC. Now I do know I am not a Mac user but I made sure to ask the question because this question always comes up when we, when we talk about you know what to use on the PC versus the Mac. <coughs> on the Mac, excuse me, sorry about that. On the Mac you have a built-in item called Text Edit. And that is the default plain text editor on the Mac. So I believe you will be prompted to open it with text edit. Either way you do it, and again, that's, this is how I do it. I open with, browse, and then I choose notepad. The download, once you do it, either way, no matter what you're using, it's going to be displayed with the number for each transcribed sequence. 
as well as the timestamp for those sequences. The timestamp and the number have no bearing on whether or not we're going to do what we're going to do. Don't worry about do you have the right words under the right time. It makes no difference. You're not trying to make a perfect transcription for your video. I promise you that your only concern in what we're doing is the SEO part of this. Because think about it. Have any of you gone to YouTube yourselves, watched a video, and said, you know what, I'm going to watch this video with the closed captioning on? Very few and far between actually do, so it's, it's not a concern. So the next step is to edit your transcription. This is what it looks like in, in Notepad. And you're going to add your keywords throughout. Now, this is the very bottom of it. Um, I didn't, it, it's a long transcription, it's a minute and 12 seconds as you can see, these are the numbers, this is sequence number 21, time stamped at 1 minute 12 seconds, all the way up to 1 minute 17 seconds, so that's like the last 5 seconds of video, this is like a 2 seconds of video, so you can see the time stamps and stuff. At the top I also did some editing of my transcription to say exactly what I wanted my transcription to say. And then at the bottom I put in, I hope this made you laugh as much as I did. Your real estate transaction is no laughing matter. Give me a call and I can make sure your real estate sale or purchase is no laughing matter. I am Paul Baxter, real estate agent and friend. Not a single word of that is actually in that video that I, that I did my transcription from. Not a single video. Not a single word of my closing bit, this minute 12 to minute 17, not one single word of that is actually in my video. Same thing if I show you the document that I created, the opening sentence, the very first thing that I wrote in my transcription, not one single word of that is actually in my video. So once you say you're going to save your edited transcript, once you, you've typed in, you've put your SEO words in there, you've said exactly how you want it said for search engine optimization purposes. Not worried about what the content, does it match up, I'm, I want search engine optimization purposes. Once I've done that, you simply save the file. I save it as a text file in Notepad, and I select it to save it on my desktop. You can save it anywhere you want. That, that's not a recommendation. I'm just saying that that's where I saved it to make it easy for me to find. Once you have it saved, the next step, go back to YouTube, and you are going to click on the Track List button. It is what is above. Remember, just a minute ago, all we did was drop down Action and select it to download the SRT. That's all we did. We haven't moved off this screen on YouTube yet. So when we go back to YouTube, we're now going to click on the track list tab at the top. What that's going to do is it's going to bring you in to show you the list of transcription or caption tracks that you have available and there's a big old blue button that tells you add captions. That's what we want to do is add a caption. When you click add captions it's going to bring you into a place where you can take the, the, the additional step if you want to create your own caption or transcription of the video not using the, the downloaded part from a minute ago. You can do that right in this section. I don't know if you see that, but transcript, I can literally type right in here. And then I can click sync and it will match up whatever I've typed in here or try to match it up with timestamps on the video. For what we're talking about and what we just went through, you're going to select the bottom option that says upload timed caption file. When you click on that, it's going to take you into your files. You simply navigate to and select the edited transcript that you just completed and click the open button. Now you'll get a message that says caption track created sex successfully and you'll notice now that not only do I have that original one that was in here a minute ago, English automatic captions, but I now have my English caption. I could have given that a name if I wanted to, but there, there's really no need to do that. Um, because again, I don't believe that somebody is going to go to my video and click the closed caption button. I just want the SEO out of it, guys. So you can see the track here now. You have success. Success. That is a hard word to say, Scotty. Why? Am I that's a tough word. You have successfully added a search engine optimized. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah like a yeah, full circle there. <laughs> Something <laughs> like that. I don't know what's on my mind. I'm having a Freudian, Freudian moment with successful. Um, you have successfully added a search engine optimized transcription to your video. Um, again, guys, don't worry about somebody going to your video and watching, clicking on closed caption, and and oh, I don't want it, them to you know know that my words are different than than what I'm saying in my video. That doesn't matter because nobody's watching your video with the closed captioning on. Now, if they do, they'll have an option to either turn on the automatic or the or the one you uploaded. By default, the newest transcription, the one that you un uploaded. That is the default closed captioning now. So if somebody does click on closed captioning, boom, it's right there. Now I promise you, this is a video of Scotty that I snagged an intro off of one of his videos. I made a video sandwich with it. I promise you, Scotty is not looking in the camera saying, Hi, Paul Baxter, real estate agent with Dude Realty here. As a real estate agent, it's important to remember to laugh. I promise you, Scotty didn't say that in the video. But that's what the closed caption says because that's what I uploaded. Now the power in this is that Paul Baxter is now search engine optimized for this video. Real estate agent is now search engine optimized for this video. Dude Realty, search engine optimized for this video. Real estate agent, again, and throughout the entire transcription. This video is now easier to find and can be found organically when somebody searches online. The five things equal one really big thing and our good friend Frank Garay said it best, it equals marketing equity. For those of you who have been coming on the agent marketing the agent mastermind class for a while, you guys know we Frank Garay has been a guest on here a couple of times and he, and he is a video guru. He will tell you and present it a way for us to get marketing equity. This just takes that that theory of marketing equity to the next level. What you want to do when you've completed these five things for this current video is you want to rinse and repeat over and over and over. And that's all I got for you. Rinse and repeat, guys. I know there are quite a few questions that I have not been able to tap into. So, uh, Scotty, I'm going to plug into these questions, my friend. <laughs> You like All that? Right, dude. So I would have. Uh, <laughs> Do you like, like my guy uh, washing? <laughs> I would have uh, unmuted myself more. It's just I got a little noisy here, so I apologize for everybody. Yeah, no uh, problem, so man. I no problem. Today. Guys, I guess the bottom line is one. I mean, and we talked about SEO, and we spent some time on that as far as getting your video noticed, getting your video seen. But when it comes down to it, doing the video is going to be the hardest part for everybody on the call, I think. And uh, once you do it, the biggest part is to get it out to your database. Send it by email, post it on your social media sites, make it a video sandwich so they forward it. I mean, all, I mean, get it out there. It, it, I mean, if you're going to count on doing videos and uploading them to YouTube and bank on somebody finding your video, yeah, it'll happen, but why not let people see your video that know, already know, like, and trust you? that can re and, and help them remember who you are and what you do for a living. So that's the that's the big point about all this. Yes, SEO will help, but don't depend on SEO for your success. I like to go make the phone ring. I like to pick up the phone, in fact, instead of wait for it to ring. But if you were uh, going to do video, please do it. Take the first step, do the video, upload it to YouTube. I wouldn't even edit the darn thing. Don't even use Adobe Premiere Element. Start and stop it. Have somebody start and stop it for you. Mm -hmm. And then from there, get it into YouTube and then send it out to your sphere of influence. We call that and going commando specifically. style. Yeah. Totally. I mean, I, I guess the big thing is, is do it consistently. Don't do one and then go, okay, that was too much work. It doesn't happen overnight. You want people to remember you, know you, like you, and trust you. I got a call today from a lady I've, I haven't done business with for five years. Why? Because she gets my video all the time. Mm -hmm. She remembers me. She relates to the different tip of the week that I give her. She, when she thinks of mortgage professional, she thinks of me. When she thinks of a, a real estate agent, I'm the only one staying in front of her. And I, I say quite often, if you're looking to buy or sell a home and you need an agent, I work with a, a, a bunch of top agents, she relates that to me. She calls me and says, hey, who can list my home? Hey, I want to buy a home. Who can help me? So whoever's staying in front of their relationships is who's going to get the referrals, the deals, the, and the, the repeat business from the people they've already done business with. 
All right. And Errol is asking, there's a couple of really great questions in here. Errol's question, do you always edit the last paragraph of the transcript? Errol, I typically will edit the entire transcript because, again, I, I don't really care if my words on my transcript match what I'm saying or being said in my video. I want to make sure that that transcript has the specific keywords in it that I'd like to use. So what you'll notice when you go to do a transcript the first time, and I'll take one of my videos that I have not transcribed before. So if I go into the video manager, and um, is there one in here that I haven't done this for? Let me see. So if I take this and I go to the transcript, Yeah, I've done this before, so it's it's not going to come up correctly for me. I don't have one that I haven't done this on. When you first put it in there, the transcript is not good. It it's just it's it's jumbled up. I believe I don't think I even have the original one that I pulled off of this one, but it it starts out within the video. It's a, it starts out Scott here for your tip of the week is the actual line that's being said in the video. When I pulled up the transcript, it said something like Sky Mall, Veer, Veer Here, Tip Week, Typical Week. Something really weird. It, it had nothing, I mean, it, it was completely off. So make it a point to edit the sections that, that are key importance. I do the beginning sentence mostly because that's my introduction. And I want to make sure that at the very beginning of the transcript, I've got my keywords in there lots. And then I always do the close or the call to action. I'll edit that part too to make sure that it's finishing with my keywords very well. And and you know what, James hit the nail on the head with this. It, 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 James. It's exactly what all of SEO is. He said, great breakdown on SEO. Lots of this can be used for all your posting, video, blogs, pages, websites, etc. That's exactly what SEO is about. It's about matching your content, matching your keywords, or telling the story or pointing out to Google what is important about your content. Once you point out to Google what's important about your content, they'll do the rest. Their spiders will find it. You just got to give them easy ways to find it, and that's what doing search engine optimization tactics like this. Notice, guys, I don't do any back-end backlinking and do, doing the – I don't do any of the black hat tactics for search engine optimization because it's not necessary. It's easier to just do the search engine optimization the way Google would like you to do the search engine optimization. Make the Google Penguin happy. Make the Panda happy, and they'll – reward you with 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 good things okay here's my question and it's the, the, the tough one for everybody on the call who right now is going to commit to doing a video and having it up by the middle of September you got two and a half weeks about two let's see September 15th you have four days left in this month and 15 so by the 17th I want to see some videos up on AJ Mastermind. Who's going to commit right now on the call? Put a yes in the window box if you will commit to having your first video up or second or third or another video up in the box. Oh, looks like we got some takers here. I'm not, I was thinking nobody's posting. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. All right. Now, you guys, you know that this keeps track of everybody that said yes, just so you know that. I'm not trying to scare anybody, <laughs> but I'm going to – everybody that said yes, it tells me – your comments. It shows me your comments. So I will hold you accountable. So if you put yes in there and I don't see a video by the 17th, you're going to get a phone call. All right? By one of my team. I will make that a promise. Mike, you heard me say it. Paul, you heard me say it. I got gotcha. you. I love it. I love the accountability, man. Accountability. All right. Accountability. Anybody else want to jump in on this bandwagon? You got two weeks and four days. Awesome. Two weeks, four days. We've got a lot of yeses. Got a lot of yeses. Anybody else? Last chance. Going one. It, John, Going post twice. it to the Agent Mastermind private group is, is where when you get these done, guys, put them on the Agent Mastermind private group. Scotty, do you have a – you know what? Let me put that <laughs> – Travis, Travis Parker. I didn't say yes. Someone hacked my account. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. 
this is what this is the hardest part of uh, of the whole video is putting it together. So let's revisit this on the 17th and find out who did and who didn't, and then find out why they didn't do it and what stood in the way, what got in the way, and then what's going to keep them from doing it. You know, if we can remove whatever it is that kept them from doing it. Um, to get it done. So you guys will you're going to do one by the 17th. I would love to see it by next week, which would be great. But uh, anybody else want to come in before we end this call today? Okay, we got a couple more coming in. This is awesome. Uh, excellent, excellent. I appreciate everybody. Paul, I'm going to check out. I got a plane to catch. So Scotty, have a great flight. Guys, girls, thank you for spending a little bit of time with us. A lot of you are asking. I know there was a few technical things, especially on that transcription and captioning. If you'd like a copy of today's recording, if you'd like a copy of the PowerPoint that does have the step-by-step -step instructions in there, simply contact the loan professional who invited you today. They'll be able to get you access to that. Also, let them know, Scotty. We're gonna. I'm gonna find and pull out of the archive that um, that organic farming class to get that back out there because there was quite a few questions on finding the right keywords and and how to determine what the keywords you want to use are. Great class on that. So we'll pull that Sounds out. Great. If Sounds you need great. access to those classes again, just contact the loan professional who who invited you today. They'll be able to get you access to the webinar as well as the PowerPoint presentation materials. So you can uh, live up to that promise you just made to Scotty. Uh, excellent. Love the promises. Love the accountability. Uh, so I know I probably just created a little bit of anxiety for people. <laughs> but uh, I tell you, it's going to pay off in space. And then we're going to just hold you accountable to do one every single week, OK? Because the more people that remember you, the more people that know you, the more people that like you and remember you, uh, the more referrals you're going to get. It's just the bottom line. So let's get yourself out there. Let's get your brand out there. Let's get your company out there. This is more importantly, let's get you out there and help you uh, grow your business and add one more deal, whether it's one or ten more deals to the pipeline every month. Um, that's what this that's what this training and classes are all about, us coming together as a team to help each other. So I'm glad and I was able to put some people, the pressure on some people, and look forward to seeing your videos. Awesome. And guys, uh, you go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash agent mastermind. It is a closed group only available to those agents that attend these webinars to exchange ideas, to ask questions. We are all there to answer those questions. You just have to request to become a member. We'll get you, we'll get you signed on as a member or, or accept you as a member. Just go there and request it and uh, keep your eyes peeled for, for getting accepted, and then you'll be able to post, exchange ideas, read all the comments, access any of the files that are available for you there. Scotty, thank you again, man. Have a safe flight, and, right, and, and so be much. careful. I appreciate you together, brother. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you guys for your attention today. You guys could spend your Tuesday anywhere in the world, and you chose to spend it here with us today, and we certainly appreciate Amen. it. Have a good one, and we will see you next Tuesday. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.